We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and her family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today, we're making some delicious beef goulash, y'all. Yes, my way. Okay, y'all, let's get to cooking. Here in my large pot, I am browning up some ground beef. And now I'm going to add in my vegetables and my seasonings. Here I'm adding in my green bell peppers that are finely chopped. And now we're adding in our chopped onions. And we're going to mix this up a bit. And as you can see, I am chopping up the, my meat as I'm stirring and browning my meat. I am chopping up as much as I can and because this is some ground chuck and you know how ground chuck is and so that's why I have to keep chopping it up. Ground chuck is very meaty and it has less fat. Now it's time to add in our seasoning. Here we're adding in some onion powder. garlic powder. I'm adding approximately two tablespoons of the onion powder and the garlic powder. Our black pepper. I'm adding maybe a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon because I have a lot of meat here that I'm seasoning. And we're going to go ahead and mix these seasonings in. I, I'm going to add salt. Uh, my salt wasn't just right there, and so I'm just going to go ahead and mix this together. And then we're going to add our salt. But you can go ahead and add the salt with the rest of the seasonings. What I like about the ground chuck, you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, draining it or anything because there's nothing to drain. And so um, what I'm doing now, I'm just continuing to um, break up the meat and continue to brown our ground chuck. We're sprinkling in some salt. Uh, this is quite a bit of ground beef, so it may seem like a lot. Okay, the amount of salt is optional. While we are continuing uh, to brown our ground beef, here we're adding in our Rotel tomatoes. I'm using the original. You can use the mild or the hot if you prefer. Just make this recipe yours. Okay, I'm going to continue to brown up our ground beef until we no longer see any pink. Uh, that's how you will know that your ground beef is fully cooked. You will no longer see any pink in your meat. Okay, here I'm showing you, see, our meat isn't uh, quite ready yet. So we need to continue to brown and chop up our meat to make sure Everything is fully cooked. Letting you know, I am browning our meat and vegetables on a medium high heat. We don't want to cook it too fast because it will burn. So uh, just cook it on a medium high heat and it won't burn, okay? y'all a little tip sometimes it helps to uh add a lid to your pot and then uh your meat will go ahead and get you know fully cooked okay okay i'm going to continue to brown my ground beef to make sure it is fully cooked and i'm going to be back with the next step One thing I forgot to remind you is to go ahead and prepare your macaroni uh, so that when uh, your uh, meat have brown, you can go ahead and just add it to your, um, your meat. Just follow the instruction on your package or box. Here I'm adding in my fully cooked pasta. So now we're mixing our meat mixture and pasta together.
Now it's time to add in our tomato sauce. Since I'm making a large pot of goulash, I am adding a large can of tomato sauce and a half of can of water, or you can use beef broth. And I'm stirring this together to make sure I have enough tomato sauce because I, I love tomato sauce in my goulash. Um, and so I'm going to add another smaller can. Letting y'all know I did add a can of tomato sauce, another smaller can, because this is the way I like my goulash. Um, and now what I'm doing, I'm going to taste to make sure it has enough seasonings in it. And it does, y'all. It has a, the right amount of salt and everything. But if you want to add other seasonings to your goulash, you are welcome to do it. If you want to add corn, sweet peas, or whatever other vegetables you want to add, add it. Some recipes call for rosemary. Some uh, recipes call for thyme. Like I say, make this recipe yours. Another thing you can do, you can add shredded cheese and chili powder. And this will make a chili mac and cheese. Okay, y'all, just do what you want to do with this recipe. I enjoy it all by itself. Along with some oven-baked cornbread. Oh, that is a meal all by itself. Okay, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I always enjoy cooking with you all. Another thing, what would you serve with this dish? I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome welcome to our channel okay y'all as always i'm gonna say y'all have a blessed day and bye bye for now love y'all stay safe and be blessed and remember jesus love you and i do too oh yes i got some exciting news for you all my daughter latonya and her family has started their own channel y'all jazzy red and the fam Oh, y'all, go over there. He has a recipe that she wants to share with y'all. And go over there and show her some love. And ask her, if y'all want her to make a certain dish, ask her to do it. I'm sure she don't mind. Okay, go and show my family some love. Make sure that you go over there and subscribe to my baby's channel. And that will put a big smile on Miss Brenda Dee's face. I know you all are going to do it. I will leave their link in my description box. My words for today, I love your family. Uh, if you have some things that isn't going right with them, get it right, y'all, because life is too short. And be there for each other. If you need to call them, call them. Somebody you had not called in a while, call them. Make their day, y'all. Okay, as always, I'm going to say, Y'all have a blessed day, and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!